Well, it was like a movie that was an ending that you were really shocked by, whether it was a twist ending or like something that really impacted you. I do remember lots of movie endings, so it's probably going to take me forever to explain. The Wizard of Oz. The Titanic. <laughs> oh, good one. But, I mean, obviously we knew how it was going to end, but that movie... <laughs> yeah, right? I know, I know, so there's not a twist, but that movie okay. killed me. Like, seeing those people drown, that old couple in that bed with the water rushing in, yeah. the man that fell off the end of the boat and hit his head on the propeller, Ooh, her yeah. snapping Leonardo DiCaprio's arms off on the float, yes. Jack, Jack. Um, that was really good. That was really that was good. Like, oh I didn't realize God. that. In terms of horror, I always love The Shining, so I always watch again and again. I mean, it's been a while since one. Now with Dad, I can't really, I don't really watch those things anymore. I just watch other things. It's so hard nowadays to throw people off, and it's something you really have to you know, you can't be lazy about and being creative. You have to really go out of your way to find something new and something fresh that people haven't seen before. It's just that twist at the end that makes this whole story interesting. Um, and R Knight is really such a master at that. But Sixth Sense was just really blew me away. Dead Poet Society um, is, a, is a very important movie to me. And when I was a kid and I saw it, it really impacted me. And that last scene uh, with Robin and the, the children and all the kids standing on, not all of them, some of them standing on their desks. It's so powerful because again, in some ways, even maybe that's related to Knock at the Cabin, you know, it's just somebody believing in you, you know, someone standing up and saying, I believe in you.